somewhere in this pile of misery is a breakout. Oh. I haven't had this long enough. Doing a rear brake hose on my truck. Doesn't uh, entirely need it, but uh, however, it is as old as the truck and it's getting a little nasty. So, this appears to be the guy. I've already got new brake, brake hoses up front on both wheels, but uh, I need to get that one on there. Oh, look at that, brand new. I shouldn't need a new lock for this. The lock is uh, what goes in between here and keeps them locked into the frame. So you can run your hose in there. And then this is the actual part that goes into the axle. So I'm gonna go figure out what tools we need for this. I'll let you know and then we'll get started on this. Okay, so I kinda broke everything loose here and cleaned up around the area here just just because I wanted to see if I can get this all broken free I don't want to start a video halfway through and be like well I'm fucked pardon the language but uh, so it's an 11 millimeter on all these I probably should have got a catch catch can here because we are going to lose some brake fluid and it's 11 millimeter here you want to go the opposite way and then uh, I also want to Get your axle vent hose out of the way. There doesn't seem to be oil in it right now, so that's good. And let's see, and I think we were a 15 millimeter on this. Yeah, so, something like that. 15 millimeter. And then the the ho the steel line up over here. Let's see if I can show you. That guy there, I kind of, uh, I was trying to loosen him, but I ended up tightening him, so I kind of messed up the thing, so what I ended up doing was using a pair of vice grips and breaking them off. Uh, when you're looking at it this way, you actually want to go this way to get it off. And then the, oh, there's some, there's some gear oil. Oh, oh, let's put in over here somewhere. There we go. Okay, and we're losing some brake fluid. We need to get our catch cans in. Um, so the lock here, this guy's pretty good still, so I used vice grips on him. Got my vice grips up in here and just worked it that way and it came right off. So I'll go get a catch can for this, uh, we're going to lose a little bit of fluid here. Um, I think we are going to do a brake flush. I do have quite a bit of brake fluid to go through, so we're going to probably flush up this rear system out. And of course, the yard maintenance for the neighbors across the street are here, so they're going to be making all kinds of noise. My shirt's all binding up. It's driving me nuts. Oh, I see what's going on here. It does go on one way. Yeah, okay, there we go. 
one side is bigger than the other or one side is bigger than the other keep that in mind So he's not going to drip anymore. We're going to need to... Oh, this guy's like, hey, hey. And we're going to want to orient him in such a way that he's not going to touch the frame. So there's the new end. What I want to do is, he, the old one was kind of like this. So, and there is a, uh, okay, yeah, it's going to be like that, because you see, it looks kind of like a hex or whatever, but, um, it's, like, rounded on one edge, and there's, the frame is rounded right there, so it's going to go just like the factory fit, so, I'll get these screwed together, and then, uh, get it in. Thankfully, it's not dripping as much as I thought it would be. I thought it would, so it just kind of naturally Yeah, plutty wanker. I'm gonna do something like that, just kind of wiggle it around, and start to feel it the thread in. And I think at this point I'm taking my gloves off because because reasons. So. Oh, I need to invest in a tripod. Had a good time the other night. No, I'm just a little broke. There's our lock. We might need a hammer of justice for this. It looks like I'm gonna install it like that. So the hose goes up in there. And then the hose lock just kinda goes in. Like, it's locked in, but it's like... <laughs> okay, that part's done. So, what we wanna do is try and get our 11 millimeter on this guy here. try and snug them down, I might have to get the vice grips on it again. Now, of course, if you're, uh, you got a, you live in Canada, uh, that should be good. And you got a GM6 Sierra, you'd just be replacing all the steel lines. Just, just don't even bother just do it. So, <laughs> poor Bill Steemax. Okay, I'm starting to slip there. All right, that should be good. So now we need to uh, we need to bleed the system. We're gonna need to bleed both wheels out. 
Um, we will uh, do that after we hook this up. Oh, it goes on all the way now. It's got some oil on it. All right, we're good to go. Okay, we broke that thing free with a 3 8 ratchet. Um, I don't have a 3 8 wrench because I always, always use metric because every time I go to take something apart, it's like, nope, it's metric. So, yeah, we we'll need to uh, definitely get some standard wrenches. But anyways, it's a 3 8 I'm going to uh, pop my master cylinder open and uh, uh, we'll, we'll, we'll go look at it here in a second. But we're going to make sure it's got fluid in it. And then we'll uh, keep fluid with us and keep topping it off. So just a double check. So this is all nice and flexible now. <clears throat> this old line is... Like a rock. But yeah, this is all nice and flexible now. Less, less stress on the ends here. And we got fresh material. Um, there is going to be a lot of air up in here. So we're going to be bleeding this out really good. So let's go check our master cylinder. You know, every time that I try and do this, it never works. But then when I uh, unexpectedly, you know, I just break it loose and walk away. And it's got air in the system. Well, here it is. Bleeding itself out. You know, that's a steady stream. If it keeps going. Huh. Okay. Well, I'm gonna go walk over to the other side. Hopefully it's the same size. I won't even need any of this nonsense. I'm gonna have to get some paper towels though. I'll spray it down with a cleaner. Yeah, we're a little low now. It's not really a good idea to leave that open, but whatever, I don't care. I have the Passenger side here open. I'm not sure, but I think it's it's flowing. I'm just gonna let it do that. And I'm gonna watch this. If I see it go down any lower, I'm gonna go and flog off the other side, and then I'll let the other side gravity bleed and this is how I have it sitting it's kind of on the hump of my driveway yeah I'll see if it goes in any lower and then I'll just lock it off and then I'll do the other side and then uh, see if we got brakes yeah it's sucking it down all right very slowly I just filled it up to the rim and now it's back to where it was a few seconds ago. I'm going to see how low it'll go. I just want to make sure there's absolutely no freaking air in there. But yeah, that bottle was empty when I started. But I don't know how well you can see it. Now you're not going to be able to see it on camera, but you know, this little piece of dirt that's right in here. Yeah, you can see him flowing through. Huh, I guess the truck is happy about its new engine, so it's like, here, I'll just help you out with your brakes. Okay, I'm going to go close out the other side. And I'm going to put my catch thing on the driver's side. And I think, well, since i got so much brake fluid, I'm going to go ahead and uh, rotate these front wheels and... Uh, I can get that bleeder screwed. I'm just gonna flush out the front brakes too. 
Okay, real quick, that's right where it's at now. I'm gonna wait a few minutes and I'll come back and show you. Well, after just a cu couple minutes of uh, letting the other side drip and then going to the driver's side, we're down a little bit. I'm gonna top her off and I'm gonna see if I have a brake, see if I have a brake pedal. Okay, first of all, when you go to put on your brake pedal, this is kind of a weird angle for my leg. Steering one out of the way, there we go. So, if you have the truck off and you hit the brake pedal and it goes to the floor, which it's not doing now, then you know you're good. So, I have an electric vacuum pump on this bad boy. I will show you what he looks like in case you missed it. This is my electric vacuum pump. He comes on when the key is turned on. So, we don't have to start the engine for this one. Now you can if you did some ex extensive bleeding, but let's see. Oh, that's... That's perfect. That's a rock solid pedal. Huh. Interesting. This uh, truck really likes its engine. Because... I don't know, any other time they would have been like, just forget about it. Like, you gotta have like eight people help you bleed the brakes. So, I think to bleed the front brakes, I'm gonna maybe get the front up there. And well, I mean, bleed, I'm gonna flush them out. That's nice. I like that. That was painless, really. Alright, thank you for watching. Alright, before I go, I actually want to give you a little update. I just took it around the block. And already there's a huge improvement with that new hose in there. It feels like all four wheels are getting brakes now. Um, before I hit the brakes, it just kind of felt, eh. You know, it stopped pretty good, but now it, it doesn't nosedive anymore. It feels like the rear brakes are getting used. Now I'm going to take them off and they've hardly got any anywhere on them so i'm gonna go for a little drive we get this clamp back on here and see how she feels <laughs> 